Well, good morning world. It is 8.30 in the morning. I woke up at seven, checked my email, checked Facebook, checked YouTube. Slept very well, it was uh, nice over here. I'm gonna run into Walmart, see what I can get. Let's see who's out there. And there's still a few trucks over here. RVs look like they're gone. There's Walmart. All right, just got back from Walmart. And the good thing about buying your groceries daily here is because today's the 27th, I just saved me uh, how much? Almost 4.48 on that one. Saved me 5.57 on that one because it's today's the 27th, and this says used by the 29th. Oh man, I love living at Walmart's. Look at that. I don't even get this at home. 10.15. Turn right. I'm turning right. Hmm. I just left. Should I stop already? Exit now. So I just made a U-turn because I just saw something crazy. I had to go back and get it on video. Where is it? It's some. There it is. Look at that. So seven miles up and seven miles back, just to see that crashed airplane. Well, this might be a good chance to at least get some gas. I hope the card works out. No, that doesn't look like they have a card reader here. I don't get it. All these diesel pumps where the trucks go, uh, you always have to go inside. And when you pay, they always ask you for a truck number. So I obviously tell them that I'm a tourist in an RV. So this is one of those pumps with the meter on the other side. So basically what you do, and I don't know if I did it right, but I took off that uh, nozzle there and I put it up there and then I'm using this one on this side because if I didn't lift it on the other side, for some reason it wasn't working. So I don't know if I did it right, but, uh, but that's how I did it. I just laid it up on top. And yes, you do have to go inside, pay, and uh, then you go in for the final receipt. All right, so in my rear view mirror, I saw this thing flopping around. So now I know why here. Because the screws uh, broke the little plastic thing. So hey, there's my first break of the trip. So let me take that whole thing off so I don't lose it. All right, so there's the first missing piece from the trailer. Last year I did 22,000 miles across the country to California, Michigan, Florida. I had what, like uh, two or three blowouts, couple flats. So that's what one of the blowouts did. So this year I ended up getting these 14 ply tires. So hopefully uh, there'll be no more blowouts. But now it looks like the other side matches this side because I'm taking parts off. And there you go, so this side almost matches the other side. Okay, on the road again. Let's go check out that airplane. So the next exit is that airplane. I'm curious, I wanna check it out. There it is. Let's see if there's a room to stop over here. I hope I don't cause an accident. Georgia Institute of Technology, Savannah Campus. Well, check it out. Monday, July 27th, 1230, Atlanta, Georgia. I might be getting pulled over by an 18-wheeler. Well, they might not be in 18-wheelers, but they're on motorcycles. So I've already seen a few billboards like this. Ruby Falls. I think I'm going to stop and check it out. Ruby Falls. And hopefully they have parking. Oh, great. Look at that. Zigzag. If I knew I was going to be going uphill the whole time, I probably would have not have taken it. 
taken this road. Oh look, I'm not the only one. Okay, so he said the lot's full, there's no parking, and the U-turn is three miles ahead. But wait, what is this here? There's bus parking right here. I won't sit there though. All right, so basically there's no place to make a U-turn around here. Finally found a place to make a U-turn. Holy cow. All the way up on top of the hill. Dangerous intersection. I cannot believe I made it up here. Now, let's hope I can get down. So this is called Rock City. But look, man, it's straight down over there. Straight down, I cannot believe I made it up here. Well, it's gonna be easier to get down than it was to come up. Ruby Falls, so I saw these uh, billboards and I wanted to check it out, but unfortunately I probably will not be able to see it unless there's some parking, uh, they have some bus parking over there. So if, uh, if there's some open spots that I can fit in, then I'll stop. If not, unfortunately you'll have to check out some of these pictures that I found online. So I'm going downhill and yes, I do smell my brakes. Oh, it's a beautiful view down there, except I ain't looking. Gotta drive. Okay, so that guy took that last spot there, but I can't fit though. Ruby Falls. Well, there's no park in there, so I guess I'm gonna go. Messed up the brakes and God knows how much gas I burnt going up that hill. Ah, look at that turn. Holy cow. Three quarters of a mile. Take a sharp right turn onto Oliver Hill Drive. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, there's smoke. I hope my brakes aren't on fire. Yeah, there's definitely smoke coming out back there. I just hope nobody comes flying around these corners because I literally have to use both lanes in order to uh, make some of these turns. I mean, I, I'm pulling a 42 foot fifth wheel. Oh, that's close. Okay, I need to stop over here somewhere and check my brakes. They're smoking. That side smoking also. Well, so I waited for my brakes to cool off a little bit. I wish I would have known this was here. Valley Wine and Spirits. I would have waited in there. No, I'm just joking. Well, for anybody that wants to know, Ruby Falls and Lookout Mountain are definitely not uh, 42 foot fifth wheel friendly. Let's get back on the highway. All right, so here's, here's a few bucks too. So anyway, so you were sitting there, I pulled in to get some fuel, and you have your shoes duct taped. Yep. So I knew I had that extra pair, so I figured I'd give it to you. But anyway, so why are you homeless? Oh, uh, well they won't, uh, see the state has laws they won't give you an ID. Uh-huh. So uh, I don't have an ID so I can't go to work. But anyway, I like to work. That's why I clean the parking lot up. Oh, so you clean this parking lot? Yes. Oh, and okay. I make sure nobody bothers the ladies and stuff. You know, oh, okay, good. Where do you sleep? In the Where? back here somewhere? In the woods. What about in the winter? In the woods. In the, it gets cold though, huh? But hey, I can build, hey, I'm a country boy, I can build, hey, I'm a country boy, I can build a fire. Oh yeah, by the way, peace and love for everybody. I live on the streets, because I live on the streets, don't mean that I'm lazy. 
That's what true. It means is I'm trying to survive. So did you try to find a regular job, like a full-time job? I can't because I just explain to you I don't have Because an of an ID. I don't have an ID. And you can't get an ID. There's no way to get an ID. Zero. Yeah, I got one right here. Hold on a second. Let me show you something. Hold on a second. I'll pick up a cigarette bus. I got an ID that comes from Hammond County Jail. Oh, so what happened? Why do you got that? Because uh, I'm out here flying the sign, trying to be nice. And peace and love. And they arrested you? Yes, sir. And what were the charges? Blind sign. Impeding traffic. Oh, God. So how long were you in for? Uh, this time. Which time you won't talk about? Uh-oh. And they were all for the same thing or some other things? Nah. What'd you do that was really bad? Nothing. Nothing. All right. Uh, so, uh, how long you been homeless? About 15 years. 15 years? Yeah. You have a family or anything? Yeah, but I see, that's the thing that most people don't understand. I don't, uh, I don't uh, impede on my family. Uh, I, when they need something done, I go home and help them out. Where are they? Georgia. Uh, uh. But, uh, but hey, but you, hey, mama, I don't, I don't sleep, I don't sleep on mama. Nah. Right. Hey, I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm a man. Hey, when you get 18 years old, you gotta, uh, get off your ass, on your feet, out of shade, yeah. and in the heat. You're a grown man, you gotta work for it. There you, you go. Work every day. There you go. It don't make no difference what you do. You work for it. There you go. Well, I don't have boots like that, but I had those sneakers, so hopefully they'll come in handy. Well, wait a minute. What? I gotta take this duct tape off. Oh, in order to get the <laughs> shoes off. Yeah, you're holding them together with that tape, huh? Yeah. All right, I gotta get out of here on the road. Look here. Look here. Yeah, see, look at that. Huh. <laughs> well, hopefully the sneakers will kind of be there for a little while for you, so. All right, I, be good, be safe. I'll wear them high, I'll wear them high. Take care of yourself. I'm gonna do that. All right, be good. That Thank you. Thank you for the video. Thank you. By the way, that's the second movie I've been in one year. Second? What was the first movie you've been in? That other They was making a movie about uh, a, a homeless girl uh -huh. or something like that. Right. And I had to jump off of the Tennessee River twice and swim back. Let's see what it was. So this is a safer movie than the last one. I didn't make you jump off of anything. Well, actually, <laughs> they put an air conditioning unit, so I had to put the air conditioning on and put it up. Ah. Uh, Alright, be safe. Hey, thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, get another shot of these shoes here. Oh, there you go. Alright. Let me hold my foot up. <laughs> Take care. Dump, dump, tank, and wire <laughs> <Duck> and <speed. laughs> Alright, on the road. You're welcome. He was just clapping, I missed it. But I think he was happy about the sneakers, I'm not sure. All right, on the road. Well, if we made it up and down that hill, we should be able to get through anything. Oh, that's awesome. That guy has a sign that says, follow me to Sturgis. Look at that. That's the first one that I've seen. Follow me to Sturgis. Welcome to Tennessee. Tennessee River. So I was just thinking to myself um, that when I pulled into that gas station, a homeless guy goes, I'm homeless, but I'll tell you what, if I had a choice and I'd do it a certain way, I'd do it that way right there, pointing at my fifth wheel. So that was funny. into my trip, why did a wrench light pop on?
again. Nashville. Trucks and travel app. Looks like there's a pilot. Let's stop there. So I'm going to look for the next truck stop because uh, my little wrench light is still on and it seems like it's just whining really loud right now. Welcome to Kentucky. There's the pilot. We'll see how long we're going to stay here. Packed house. First one's open. Kentucky. Gas mileage is cut in half. Wrench light is still on. Engine noise still whining. <laughs> Here I come. Well, the good thing is, is most of the bugs were washed off the windshield. Still whining. There it is, another pilot. Looks like there's less trucks in this one. Looks like there's less room in this one. Let's find a spot. Well, I just did a little test over here. I shut it off and then restarted it and that uh, light went off. So hopefully my mileage goes up. So I found a nice little spot here in the corner. Nobody can park over here. And that means I can use a spot and a half and I can open up my slides. Because if I squeeze in in between a truck, sometimes I can't open up my slides. So let's go relax. Okay, so here I am at the pilot and uh, I found me so a good parking spot over here. Uh, normally what I do is I leave the slides in when I squeeze in in between the trucks. But this time I found the end spot, so, uh, and there's somebody walking their dog. <laughs> uh, this time I found the end spot so I can scoot over a little bit and um, open up my slides. But uh, that's why I took my couch out inside, so I can make it more functional when, um, when I don't put my slides out. Well guys, thanks for watching. There's a lot more. I'm about a day behind on all these videos. So this video was actually from uh, yesterday, and now this is the next night, so there was a whole nother day today of excitement. Oh boy, was there excitement. So looking forward to putting up the next video here. You got to check it out.